Hi everyone, welcome to the Mad Witch channel. Uh, thank you for your popping by. Uh, I'm kind of doing a a really sort of spontaneous video because I have I haven't I haven't put up any for a little while and I've got a load of pre-recorded videos to go up, which I thought was a good thing because it meant that you know if I didn't have time to record anything, I would have something to fall back on. I just haven't had time. Life at the moment for me is really busy and in a really transitional phase and as such I am having to write copious lists and get myself really organized and um, part of that the in some way the smallest part but actually it's kind of the biggest part I'm not going to go in into the ins and outs of it all but basically I'm in the processes of pulling out different decks pairing them up whatever this is not part of the the, the me being busy but this is kind of me trying to get organized um, so this video although I, I'm hoping I will put it up is more actually for me if I want to look back and remember what it is that I decided to do. So uh, whether I'll get to put it up, because like I say, I've got a few pre-records, which now I feel are almost dated because they haven't gone up and I can't decide whether to put them up or not. Um, but at the same time, I don't think it really matters because people look back through some of my older videos so it doesn't really matter when I put them up so and hopefully I will anyway this video is really initially was centered around this deck which is the Wildwood now the Wildwood is a deck that I've had for a very long time um, in fact I, I, I'm, I drew this card today and interestingly enough in another deck that I'm working with that I use for goddess work I got the same card so I found that really um, magical um, but basically as you can see I've taken the, the edges off and I've backed them they've been I've rebacked them now that the only thing I will say about doing that is that they kind of get a bit bent I've edged them they, they're meant to look worn and, and you know I mean they are one of my first decks that I ever got to be fair um, and I can't remember for the life of me why I backed them. So I must have seen somebody back them. And um, I did. I got this and the Druid Craft at the same time. And I backed them both. I did a darker wood effect on the Druid Craft. Um, and I did the more wood effect on this deck. Now, the reason that I... This has always been a winter deck for me. I don't know why, because in actual fact, the suits are reflective to the seasons as well. Um, but even so, it is... An, for, for whatever reason, it is what I would call my sort of winter deck. But I did decide that... So, because your energy is constantly changing I wanted a deck that I could work with throughout the year um, on a, a kind of journey a spiritual journey oh look at that <laughs> the journey <laughs> see this and and straight away this deck has in fact for me felt that it is more than in tune to what I wanted it to be. I set an intention with it. I I cleansed it. I I did you know the, the the magic stuff. I put my intentions into it, and it has delivered. And I'm you know like I say, whether this video will go up or not, one of the things that I wanted to do is to work all year round with it. I. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to go into it any more than that, because I, I think, you know, I, I there's other things I could say, but I, I'm not going to because the, the point is it's the deck that I'm interested in. So that aside, um, I I mean, I work with I'm going to have to squeeze over. There. I've had for the longest time before I actually had the Wildwood and the Druid Craft, I had the Oracle of the plant and animal, uh, the druid plant and animal um, decks. And as you can see how big they are, because these are not uh, uh, edged or cut up down. And that was part of the reason why I did that anyway, but because they were quite big cards and I have little hands. But anyway, I'd quite like a backup of this that I hadn't trimmed, but I do 
that this is the deck and and you can see how old it is because this is the bag that I made this was an old skirt that I loved I absolutely loved this skirt and it, it doesn't fit me anymore so I made it into a bag amongst other things and it was very early on and you can see how crudely made it is. And I've used, I don't know, I didn't have any, I don't think I had anything at the moment other than this sort of wool. But do you know what? Weirdly as it is, I actually love this bag because it is, it, it I don't know, it just feels right for this deck. It actually, tell a lie, I made two. There's another one and that was made from an old velvet skirt. And I had the Druid Craft in one and I had the Wildwood in the other and I swapped them. So that's you know but I love I just love it and it's as crude as it gets really you know how basic anyway the point was I wanted to marry it with um a fey deck if you like um I've got the oracles as I've just mentioned over here but I, do, I use these every month regardless and the four elements the dragon cards are all always out and now bent and warped and faded because they are in the four corners of my sacred space representing the elements um so they they really are uh quite woe begotten <laughs> uh, so anyway i decided right one of the things i wanted to do was look at all my fey decks because i'm not incorporating fey enough and i wanted to and i thought how am i going to do this how am i going to decide which of these decks wants to work with the wildwood anyway the upshot of it is i'm not working with any of them with that the wildwood the wildwood works really well um um in its own right and I could pair an oracle with it if I want to so what I decided was I was going to go through my fey decks and decide what to do how to work with them because I've got quite a few the one I'm not showing that's not here I suppose actually I should grab it really it's not fair to leave it out hold on a second oh, I, that's not including the fairy Lenormand that I've got um, but again, I'm not working with that one at the moment. I've, I'm, I'm not working with Lenormand at all. So this deck, oh, this deck is gorgeous. Um, and this is the Victorian Fairy. This is an out of print deck, which my very dear friend, um, uh, not across the pond, because that kind of suggests it's in America, but she, she's, um, she's across the pond other way. Uh, very 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 generously gifted me um she didn't get on with it and i i i really love it i don't work with it as much as i should because i again the trouble with the fade decks for me is they kind of they're all over the place in seasons because naturally they work through the year and this deck does it beautifully i mean it really is look at this lovely bag she made um that, and I, I don't want to, to, you know, say who she is because, you know, I haven't spoken to her about it or asked permission. It is just such a gorgeous deck. And it is um, broken down to, into the seasons with the, the miners. So, and the book is really lovely and comprehensive. It's, to me, a lot of these fey decks are like opening a lovely fairy tale book. And I, I personally feel that's how they best work is if you use them kind of like that. Um, and I don't get them out enough. I just, I kick myself. I want to say that this is an autumnal and spring deck, but it's ridiculous because it, it's, it isn't. It's all, it's all year round. Um, I mean, look at her for the Queen of Winter. I just. Mm, and I've just, I've just kind of I'm now halfway through changing my mind again anyway so I thought right okay I'm going to designate them times to work with so I I had designated this to be my autumn spring deck um but now I'm thinking this actually might work with the wildwood really well because very much like the wildwood works with seasons uh, i'm trying to find a winter card i mean the um the hermit in here of course which i now won't be able to find and i really didn't want this to be a long video i'm going to 
be able to find it, am I? Off the top of my head. Look at him, isn't it? Oh, there it is. So the Hermit. I mean, this card is on the box at the book front. Maybe that's why I associate it as a winter deck. You know, your your eyes do tend to um, process these things. Maybe that's why. I love the little wren in here. And now I'm thinking, actually, they might, might work really well together. I have the little fey forest, little tiny oracle box. And that works really well with this as an oracle. But I th I think maybe, now I come to think of that about it, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, so that deck I had designated for spring, but maybe not now. Maybe it will be married up with the... Um, with the wildwood so then i was i was going through all the decks now th one of the other decks i really love is the um tower of the she and um, this isn't in its box at the moment because a lot of these decks sit on my fey altar it became sort of gaia fey but but it, it it's it's it is predominantly nature fey and this this deck is just lovely i've edged mine well they were sort of purpley but kind of faded a bit um this is such a beautiful deck i i really love this and it is a really good reader it's a powerful strong deck the book's lovely it's a bit different because in lots of the little bits for it it's it's a poem that sh she's created it's just just a really nice unusual book um but this this kind of is uh I'd say this is my sum a summer deck for me. It, again, it's all year round, but the energy of it is quite strong. It's a really strong deck. And I think sometimes over winter, I like to revert to, you know, the, like the story stories. We, we love the, the sort of fairy tale stories, don't we, over winter? And this doesn't have that feel for me, although it's got the poetry in. It's a very... I think this is a very powerfully strong energy through this deck and so I haven't I haven't I've decided that that's kind of a deck that I will be working with during the summer months possibly or the spring and autumn maybe so basically any time of year <laughs> I don't know I I had it in my head all sorted now I'm not sure this deck I recently got I I love this deck um of course you know, for those of you who know, I didn't know initially that the. I know this is now the mass market. I never actually bought the the indie version, if you like, from the shop in uh, Glastonbury. She has a shop, Linda Ravenscroft has a shop, but I didn't buy it from there. I actually bought it mass market. But this has a very, very summer feel for me. This is a very strong uh, sort of... I mean, it could be Lunasar as well, but it, it's got a very strong, because, yeah. But I would work with this late spring, summer, um, and into autumn. But I didn't, and I should have. So my, my, my bad. I'm not making enough time for fey work. It's very hard, because, you know, in spring, I get I used to get very busy getting the garden ready. Summer this year was the hottest ever and when you're at the beach because that's luckily where I did spend quite a lot of my time um it's kind of not it doesn't feel fey it feels obviously more uh water elementy anyway so a couple of the other decks so I pulled out the um the fairy oracle Arthur Rackham now I think there's another one of these but I'm not absolutely sure this is a lovely deck. I've had this a long time. I don't work with it very much. It's got um, a very dark feel and because the images, in my opinion, are very dark. Um, the artwork is, is quite dark, it, but it's it could so easily be a winter deck easily you know it reminds me again of the, I mean the, the witches that you've got this Samhainy feel you could work with this easily I think through Samhain through the winter you know like it's like picking up this 
old fairy tale book that's what it feels like and you're you know as you pick one of these images up i'm going to talk myself into using all of these at this rate um i decided i would put this into january so i would work with some of the others over the winter uh, over winter over christmas over yule but i would pair this with the john boa tarot which i may one day i may one day i cut the borders off of this so that's what it looked oh, it's not really going to show it to you no it looks like i did it on all of them oh wait a minute no yeah there you go that's how it should have looked sorry i can't see the screen so i'm hoping this is going to be okay and that's how they look because <laughs> i cut them off. and yes it's not that pretty but it doesn't really bother me and i actually really like this i know a lot of people don't but it, i do um so i cut everything off of this so have no idea it's a low scarabeo so it had all the different uh images not images all the different writing rather and uh i removed it i don't know i'm hoping you can see this well it's that way i can see it that i'm showing it to you anyway so these as i understand it this is this was never this artwork was never created for tarot it's just been utilized for tarot um so by cutting off all the information what i liked to do was to just lay out the cards haven't done it for a long time and make a story um not everything has to be necessarily about divining for yourself or whatever um so i've decided to pair this for january with the arthur rackham i think i have got the arthur rackham tower i think i've got something floating around somewhere i don't know um i have a, a lot of decks but anyway so those two have become my january and december decks for uh working just just for fun really my summer deck for the most part or spring summer and autumn deck um to know this might i don't know i don't i do you know it's i i i keep saying i'm not gonna work with this deck but then i look at it and i think oh, I don't know. anyway let's move on so this is an easy one because this one i do really only tend to work with in autumn um and this is the Hidden Realms, which I've edged again. I seem to like purple, actually. That's It's a lovely deck, lovely artwork. Um, the book is really beautiful. It's got a nice little sort of story for each of the cards. Um, so it's... I love that. It's, to me, it's very autumnal. And I think, yes, obviously I'm guard, guided by the imagery, but um, it just, that's how it works. Uh, you know, how how do you decide? how When you have oh, multiple fey decks or multiple decks, one of the things I've been doing is grouping them. I, I do hate that card. I don't think I'm alone in that. I think there's a lot of people who really don't like that card. But isn't she beautiful? Isn't she stunning? So, yeah, so I think at the moment I'm heavily into grouping cards and designating them purposes because otherwise I just feel that I am not using my decks enough. So the deck that I have paired for working with, although now the other deck wants to play, is the, is this one. Um, the Fairy Lights Tarot is is a charming deck and it, it does feel a good fit to work with. But what I kind of then did was I took the Wildwood out of it altogether and I said, right, I'm going to work with a Fey deck in its own right and... I've used some of these images. I've pulled out a few of these images. I realised I haven't edged it. Uh, shall I edge it in a <laughs> purple? Um, I haven't... Uh, I, what I did was I, I pulled out some of the images I particularly loved in this deck. And I did some creative writing with it a while ago. Because I have a, de a, a book that is just dedicated to working with the Fae. 
Um, now, the interesting thing is there are certain cards, and I, I really don't think I can find them now. It was a while ago since I, I pulled them out, that, that marry up with each other. So you would lay them out and they like form a story in their own right. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to to find out which ones do that now. I can't remember. It's not all of them, I don't think. Um, Lisa from Tarot Alchemist. She's not called that anymore. But I am hopeless when they change their names. I, I, I'm, I can barely remember my own name, let alone anybody else's, especially when they change them. But um, she loves this deck and I'm pretty sure she's probably got a video that shows these i went through it i do remember doing that i went through it and i paired them with their uh, other half but for the life of me off the top of my head now see that one with the flower in may very well have a have a sister in here but anyway i thought that would work really well for my winter overwintering deck and the reason that i chose it particularly was because Again, it's got that ability to be um, put down and you can you can make your own fairy tale up, your own story, um, which I really like. One of the other things that did come to mind when I was looking at these these cards is how I felt they would maybe, and I'm not absolutely sure, but maybe they would work really well with the book series that I'm currently reading, The Witches of Ilian. Um, I don't know if anybody else would agree with that, but, you know, not necessarily in specific characters, but it just had that kind of feel for me. Whether it will or not, I don't know. And whether I can do anything with it, I don't know. I think the problem with Fae work for me is that I, I don't, I'm, I'm so serious sometimes with my, my decks, I forget to um, to do anything else with them. And this this is also an old skirt. No, is that an old skirt? No, that wasn't. That's off an old skirt. But I really liked it when I made this one. Yeah, just got some velvet inside. So, guys, that was it, really. That was kind of just a very, well, I say quick, but it's already 22 minutes in. Um, because I thought I want to record for my own benefit, even if this doesn't go up what decks I want to use when but I now can't decide what to do and I put a little bit of now I, mean, I really like that it's a really lovely bag for this deck I mean my bags are so higgledy piggledy but anyway and this was a belt <laughs> this was... so anyway um and the only other one that got gets a mention very very quickly is the Hans Robert another very old deck I didn't oh yeah I was gonna take the edges off of it because I absolutely hate the white edges on a deck I absolutely hate it why, why? Look, it's, been, but it's quite a little deck and that's how teeny tiny they are so I don't know I still haven't made my mind up whether to take them off because they're already very small I don't know we'll see but this to me is a very Yuli Christmassy kind of deck Ugh. But whatever uh it's clone you know it's right away but it's i don't know it's love it is a lovely day and you know i don't get this one out enough and this feels very fey i think it's the artwork it it's got that very childlike artwork where you would um you would probably you know see this kind of artwork in a children's illustrated story book so i thought oh that might be a nice christmas one a nice Yuli one. Like I don't have a million decks out already. And I will say this. I have, you would not believe right now, I have decks everywhere. I've got decks in my bedroom now because I, I, I keep my um, Star Tarot for my morning reading. My Wildwood goes wherever I go. I have uh, decks piled up on my desk, on my altar and everywhere. So there we go. Right, that's it. That was my quick little video on how I'm using my fairy decks. Still really don't know about that one. Anyway, guys.
thank you very much for watching. I hope to get this up, but uh, fingers crossed, we'll see. Who knows? Bye.